While I was in practice, one of the conditions that I saw in small ruminants, sheep and goats, was urolithiasis. Now this is a condition in which stones are formed in the urinary tract. We commonly refer to this as urinary calculi or bladder stones. Now there are many factors that will lead to this disease. Animals that don't drink enough water, uh, diets that are high in phosphorus, which are usually associated with high grain, low phosphorus diets, urinary tract infections, high magnesium in the diet will all contribute to this disease. Now stones are formed with the equal frequencies in female and male animals, but most of the time the diseases we see will be in castrated animals. Now the clinical signs that you might see with these animals are going to be associated with animals that are straining to urinate. You may actually even think they are constipated. They will usually dribble urine or, or produce small volumes of urine. That urine will usually have a blood tinge to it. Uh, these animals will a lot of times be in pain. Goats a lot of times will vocalize when they try to urinate. You may see tail flagging, that, fl that tail going up and down while they're trying to urinate. There'll be abdominal pain associated with this, so they may look at their sides, they may kick at their bellies, they may shift their weight from one hind leg to the other. Since treatment of the disease is often poor, Preventing the disease is much more rewarding. Preventing the disease focus on mainly, make sure these animals drink adequate amounts of water. You may need to make sure that water source is clean, make sure there's adequate space for all animals to get a drink. Want to make sure that water is warm in freezing conditions. Want to make sure in the summer when it's hot that it may be slightly cooler. Be sure and look at the ration. Make sure it's balanced. We don't want to have too much magnesium or phosphorus. And those high grain, low roughage diets, we're probably going to need to add calcium to the diet. We want to keep that calcium phosphorus ratio two to one. Treatment of this disease revolves around reestablishing urine flow. We sometimes can do this medically by maybe as simple as passing a catheter uh, or adding a urinary acidifier to the diet to try to get those stones dissolved. Uh, but most likely it will require some type of surgical intervention. There are several techniques that can be used. You'd have to consult with your veterinarian in order to find the one that's best suited for your situation.